chicks cannot handle the smoke. That's what it is. What's going on guys, I'm your boy Sally and today I'm back bringing you another episode of Sully on Sundays. Let me just take this off quick. Today we are back with episode 71 of Sully on Sundays and yeah, if you guys don't know what this series is, you've been living under a rock or just not watching anything on my channel, it's in my weekly vlogging series where I sit down once a week on a Sunday coincidentally and talk to you guys about how my week has gone. Any news I feel you guys should be informed of for the next week or any upcoming weeks, pretty much yeah that's the gist of it i literally just talk to my camera for five to ten minutes every week and just vent but yeah last week's episode was a little bit weird it was like the most stressful work thing i had and it just yeah i needed to just let all of that stress out and i did it in a video which is like the first time that's ever happened to me um so yeah that was a little bit odd um but yeah that's the whole point of this series, to talk to you guys, to be as real as possible with you, to not hide anything really, and just get everything out that I feel you guys should know. But yeah, things have improved this week work-wise, I haven't had any more issues, I've had, I haven't had anyone threaten to hit me anymore. Um, I have been on Ghost Train, um, basically it is still as fucked as it has been since it opened up. They've actually had it closed for the past two days. Um, yesterday when I was working on it, uh, it was open for like an hour. Um, then it had like four emergency stops within an hour, they completely closed the gate, shut the ride down for the rest of the day and that was at like half eleven um, and it stayed shut today as well um, so I'm not sure what they did, I'm hoping the engineers got in there and did their thing and sorted some shit out um, and hopefully that's all sorted for next week and there won't be any more issues but the likelihood is there will because this ride is still not completed yet pretty much but yeah um other than that work's been fine haven't had any more issues like i said i have been working quite a lot i think i've done like five shifts this week which means i should be getting like 250 quid just from this week like 200 at least from last week and that's not taking into account the fact that i finished late because of ghost train and even today i didn't get out till seven and we're supposed to finish at six so yeah hopefully end of this month i have like four more days and then the cutoff point is there for this month's wage hopefully this month's pay is really nice for me that way i can buy all the shit i need for uni in terms of like living things like bedding utensils uh, cutlery stuff for my room to make it like homely and things like that um so what i've been doing for university is writing up a list of all the shit i need um but a lot of it does just relate to my setup at the moment, which I won't be able to get until I have my student finance come through. And then hopefully if I get this bursary as well, that will help me out a lot. But yeah, in terms of uni, it is four days away from results day. Um, and I mean, I'm not really nervous about results day itself. Uh, my results aren't what is bothering me about this results day. It's literally the fact that before I even see my results, I determine, like my future is determined in terms of where I'm going to be for the next three to four years. Um, so I'll be up at like half five, six ish, and then I can immediately check my UCAS um, to see if I'm in the uni, if the uni has accepted me, and then my results won't really matter at that point. Because if I'm accepted into the main uni, I still choose that I want to go there, which the likelihood is I will, because I don't really want to go to another uni anymore. Um, then I'll be all set to move in on the 17th of next month, which is 33 and a half days away, which is absolutely nuts. Um, so yeah, four days time, I'll find out if I'm at uni, uh, if I'm at the uni I wanted to go to, or if I'll have to go through clearing to try and get into a different uni. But fingers crossed, I don't have to worry about that. Like I said, it isn't really the results that are bothering me too much. It's more the fact of like, what the university actually say whether it's a yes or no but yeah that's all of the stuff in terms of like external shit that you guys don't really have to worry about um in terms of my channel again content has pretty much been non-existent i uploaded a short clip from a game battles video that i actually recorded the full gameplay of um where like someone disputed i had to show like proof of us getting the win and showing them like rage quitting as well so i did that um i had to upload a short clip to add to our ticket for the dispute so that's why that went up on my channel 
I will be uploading that normal gameplay um, at some point uh, next week potentially. I do also have another Call of Duty live com to upload, which was actually one of the best live coms I've ever done in terms of what actually happened in game and just the general content of it. It wasn't as all over the place as they tend to be. There was a main topic for it and there was a decent basis for that video and I personally feel like it went really well, especially considering how well I actually did in this game. Like it is nuts. Um, but yeah, other than that, my channel, the Amsterdam vlog, is coming. I can confirm it is still it is going to be on my channel at some point. I still haven't finished editing it yet because I've been having issues with converting stuff from my phone and my laptop onto my PC, and I like to transfer things from my USB stick onto my Google Drive because they wouldn't be on my PC for some reason. Like none of the files were on the USB when I plugged it into my PC. When I plugged it into my laptop, they were all there. So I just have to save them all to my Google Drive, I then have to download them on my PC if I can get internet at some point. Um, so fingers crossed I can do that. So I really want to get the Amsterdam vlog out at some point. Um, I'm working quite a lot next week, which is why I need to sort of do it ASAP. So either I'll finish it or do some more editing on it tonight and then hopefully finish it like after work at some point during next week. But yeah. Um, for the next few weeks, there isn't a whole lot I can really say to be honest. Call of Duty content will be coming out again. I really want to upload some more old Call of Duty for you guys as well. Um, Call of Duty has been really weird to play recently actually because I struggled to get into hard point games for some reason which is really strange because it should be one of the more played game modes with it being really competitive and actually a really fun game to play. But all I can seem to get into is TDMs at the moment which is frustrating for me because I don't really want to just record a TDM. Um, but other than that, don't expect any FIFA or anything because I won't probably do any FIFA till FIFA 17. Um, I did actually play a draft yesterday, didn't win it, absolutely dominated a guy. I had like 60 plus percent possession and over like 20 something shots, and he still managed to beat me 1 0 somehow. Um, so that game's a joke, I'm not happy with it at the moment. And then I really want to upload some Battlefront because as soon as I get paid. I want to get the Battlefront DLC, download that immediately, and then just play it, because some of the DLC content on that game is absolutely nuts. They have um, Bespin, which is the Cloud City from Episode 5. If you haven't seen Star Wars, then honestly it's one of the better landscapes in the movies. It looks awesome. I feel like personally it would be awesome to play. They added new heroes and things like that. So that's what I will do for that. And then hopefully when I get to uni, if I get to go to the right uni and everything goes to plan with me getting my PC and whatnot. I should have my PC set up by mid-November potentially because um, I need to get to uni then buy the parts uh, build it and then be able to set it up and configure it, get all the software and whatnot and then I'll be able to do that um, as I said in last week's Sully on Sunday I have been able to sort out like recording Black Ops 3 um, but it will be in 30 frames uh, instead of 60 which kind of sucks but it's better than having no content at all and like I said I do already have two commentaries to upload or two gameplays to upload um, one of them is a commentary one of them is a GB game I am going to try again to record some more GBs if I play them it's just this party link chat audio cable thing still doesn't work for whatever reason so if I can get that sorted I'll get that sorted also, update on my PC, the current situation with it. Internet is still fucked on it. Windows 10 is the worst thing that you can possibly get for a PC. It has absolutely fucked everything up for me. So even on my new PC, highest I'll go is Windows 8. If they keep on like prompting me to get the free like download for it, I won't bother. I'll just keep ignoring it, make sure I don't pass out and it does it automatically. Because I really do not want Windows 10 on any of my PCs. Um, until they stop supporting Windows 7, which hopefully won't be for a few years at least. So, yeah, in two weeks' time, it's my girlfriend's birthday. Um, I'm not sure what we're gonna do yet, but it is on a Sunday, so I may actually have to record like bits of what we do on her birthday for Sully on Sundays, just so you guys can get to see a little bit more of her because you've only seen her in like one. Uh, vlog and then in a Sully on Sundays as like a little cameo thing where she was behind me whilst I recorded it So hopefully I'll be able to get some of that recorded for you guys I can't really say what we're doing yet because 
otherwise it would just spoil it for her, it's supposed to be a surprise. And then she goes on holiday the next day, um, so I sort of need to make it like really awesome for her before she goes. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. This has been Sulling on Sundays, episode 71. Hope you guys did enjoy it, it was an absolute shit ton to talk about, and I'm glad I managed to get it all out in one. But yeah, if you did enjoy it, as always, do be sure to leave a like. I've been your boy Sully, this has been Sully on Sundays, like, comment, subscribe, and peace.